Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. All right. Um, I was actually supposed to do this video when this happened. It was Friday. So I was actually supposed to do this video yesterday when I got home, but I was too tired. <laughs> I was out of it. <laughs> so I said to myself, ah, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> so it's tomorrow now. Okay. So as of almost a half hour ago, NBA free agency has begun. It has officially begun. We're officially underway. Uh, nothing has happened really crazy as far as I know. The only thing I know is that um, James Harden resigned with the Clippers for two more years. So potentially the Clippers is probably the last place he'll be until he calls it a career. So, hey, it is what it is. Um, I also know Westbrook uh, opt into his uh, player option, and he's there for another season. So, again, that might be the last place they are before they call it a career. So it is what it is. I really consider that a huge thing. I mean, it's a big thing, but, you know, it is what it is. But what happened on Friday? We got a big... To me, to me it's a big trade. It's a big trade, and it's a big step into the right direction. For one team. As we see the DeJounte Murray Trey Young experiment come to an end, it is officially done. And the Hawks are moving on. Uh earlier, early in the week, uh they traded away, I think, DeJounte DeAndre Hunter. They they traded him away. I forgot what they got for him. I forgot what they got back for him, but I know they traded him away. On Friday, DeJounte Murray got traded. Not Trey Young. DeJounte Murray is headed back west. He's going back west to the New Orleans Pelicans. He's going to the Pels. Who the Hawks got back? Not much. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. They ain't really ain't getting much back. Um... The Pels get DeJounte Murray and a second round pick for Larry Nance Jr., Dyson Daniels, and I think two or three first round picks. I mean, it's it's good to stock on stock up on the first round picks for the Hawks, but damn, I wish you got a quali some good quality players back. I mean, Dyson Daniels is a is a pretty solid player, so I can't I can't really say he's not a quality player. And Larry Nance is all right. You know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta back up big, so you're going to probably need that. But as for the Pelicans, they take a step forward in the right direction. All they need to do now, they need to, they need to re-sign Valanciunas. Because technically at this point in time, you kind of just gave away your backup center. So you, you, you kind of need Jonas in this, in this case. Unless there's somebody else that they're eyeing and probably for a little bit more cheaper and is a good quality center, then cool. But I don't know. I wouldn't let I wouldn't let Jonas walk. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. He's he's one of those he's one of those good quality centers. I ain't gonna lie to you. So I wouldn't let him walk. Now, if they don't let him walk, if they bring him back, we're looking at Jonas Valanciunas. If healthy, I got to say if healthy. If healthy, Zion Williamson. You got Brandon Ingram. You got DeJounte Murray. And you got CJ McCullough. That's your starting five. It looks elite. That starting five looks elite. And then you got Herb Jones now coming off the bench. You're going to have Jose Alvarado. You're going to have Trey Murphy. Your team is looking pretty good. Your team is looking pretty good. All right, listen. All things considered, the team is looking really good. But again, they have to bring back Jonas or just sign a good center. I don't even know who's who's on the market at the moment at the moment, but if they if they can get him back, that five is beastly. Because it's like this, right? The Pelicans have been that team. That if they are 100% healthy, they could be so dangerous for, for, for the West entirely. Like the last maybe three seasons, 
The Pelicans have been in the playoffs, but they haven't been healthy. Zion Williamson has yet to <laughs> Zion Williamson has yet to make his playoff debut. He has not made it yet, bro. And all because he's been injured for most of the time. Think about it. In 2020 and 2021. Did they even make the playoffs that year? I know that was like that was like Zion's best season so far. It was his second year. But I don't remember if they made the playoffs that year. I don't remember. If they did, I th no. That was the next season. Okay, I already know if they made the playoffs in 2021. I barely remember that season that well. But I know 2022, they made the playoffs, but Zion wasn't playing. Because that's when they gave the, the Suns hell in the first round. Was that the first round? Yeah, it was the first round. They gave them hell in the first round. But the but the Suns were able to get out of that. And then last, and then the season before last, they were in there again. But they were hurt. Zion wasn't there. And then this past season, they got swept. Did they get swept? Yeah, they got swept by the Thunder. And Zion wasn't playing. And I, t I remember I told my coworker this. I told my coworker this last season, last year. I told him last year, last year's playoffs. I was like, Zion could be a difference maker if he's healthy. Because who? Because nobody's stopping Zion in the paint. And I'm very honest, yo. I and I will swear that to God, bro. I've seen so many Pels games where Zion. When he gets down low and he's just laying up the ball or bullying, getting there, like, yo, you're not stopping Zion when he gets that close to the rim. It's hard to stop him because he's so strong. You can't stop him down low. That's a That could be a very big thing for the Pels, but they need him healthy, bro. That's the problem. They need Zion Williamson healthy because that, because him not being 100%, is very detrimental to that to that organization because they can't do anything. Like you're paying Zion money. I'm, I'm assuming he got his max, right? He got his max already. I think so. You paying him all this money and he's just and he never plays all the games. Like never, and that sucks. Like it's like like when are we actually gonna see this Pelicans team in its full capacity, bro? Like I'm waiting for that. Because I've said it, I've said it, and I just said it. The Pelicans could be a dangerous team when healthy. Like, let's be honest here. When you got Zion inside the paint doing what he do, you got Jonas, that could, that's damn near three-level scorer at this point. You got Brandon Ingram, who's a certified bucket. You got CJ McCollum, who could give you buckets. You got Trey Murphy, could come off the bench and give you buckets. And you got Herb Jones and Jose Alvarado with the defense. Now you add DeJounte Murray with that? Yo. That team could be a problem. But again, it depends if Zion is healthy. And it also depends on if they re-sign Jonas Valanciunas. I, I would... I would, would we let him go? I wouldn't let him go. That's a 15... That's a guaranteed 15 and 10 a night. Guaranteed. Or at best... Fifth, at best, like 13 and 8. But that's still good quality numbers from a center. That's not that crazy of a rebounder, but it's enough. You know what I'm saying? It's enough to get the job done. As for the Atlanta Hawks, it looks like they're rebuilding. They kept Trey Young, so Trey Young is definitely the corner piece for that organization. They gave up DeAndre Hunter, too. They sent him to, I want to say they sent him to Detroit. I forget where they sent him. But they they um they traded De DeAndre. DeAndre, they they um they sent him somewhere. So it looked like they were rebuilding to the best of their ability. And they're gonna try to their best to do it all around Trey Young. As they should, because the Hawks have been so the Hawks have been so weird of a of a team, bro. It's like ever since Trey Young got there, they've made it to the playoffs a couple times, but then there's other times where it's like, how the hell they didn't make it? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's an up and down squad. So let's see how they do this time around. Let's see what let's see what they do in the off season.
Again, the offseason just started about a half hour ago. So if any big thing happens, I'll be I'll be right back here and we'll talk about it. You know what I'm saying? But all in all, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So until then, it's been Rose, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love support as always. Um July officially starts tomorrow. So as I said before in my previous videos, I'm about to drop a lot of 2K on my channel. So definitely look out for that. To all my new subscribers, man, I'm about to uh, about to <laughs> upload a lot of videos. So please, <laughs> please, that's all I got to say. Just please bear with me and everything. I'm kind of, I'm kind of pushed back on my 2K. So I got to push it all forward just to get that done. Because I'm about to start one man wreck again. Y'all about to see that. And this week is a big week as well because next weekend is Money in the Bank on Saturday and NXT Heat Wave on Sunday. So you already know we gotta get those uh, prediction videos out. I definitely do them in the middle of the week if I have if I have some time. Um, and yeah, that's all I got. So until next time, peace, love, one hundred. Here.